Hello everyone, so today we're going to try and match this antenna. So I need to get that point there over to there. Um, the current value is 112 oh, plus picofarad. Hang on, we'll uh, go change that over to R plus XJ. And uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a dodgy connection here on this NOV and A2. But something like 100 minus 30, low 30J. Um, I had this about 32J, hang on. 7.16, there we go. Uh, so about 20, 30 J, something like that. Um, so 100 minus 22 J is what we need to match. So the first step is to get that point down there. But the issue is that I can't actually measure here. I need to measure on my little antenna disconnector because this is where I'm going to put the match. I'm going to put it right on the end there. I have a little tiny bit of space. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to make use of. Uh, so what I first have to do is I'll hook this up and measure this. Um, yeah, I'll have to calibrate this out because it's got some weird stuff on there. Uh, just using electrical delay. And then, hopefully, we see around the same value, 100 minus 22J. So we'll work on that. Alright, as you can see, we do not have an open circuit. <laughs> uh, this is an open circuit, it is measuring the, uh, the filter. So, the stuff... I think this is a, uh, a 40 megahertz low-pass filter. Um, so basically it shouldn't really be playing around with uh, where we are at the moment but we do have some type of transmission line effect so we need to go calibrate that out the way to do that display scale electrical delay and for this particular value 27 um, nanoseconds gets me basically back to the open circuit position so we'll try this value we'll hook up the antenna and we'll see if we see the same thing and I have good news, we are back to our 100 ohms, minus 26J, so we now have something that we can match, and we are actually measuring from this point right here, back into the antenna. So these values we can now trust. If I turned off the electrical delay, so I'll do that. Oh, hang on, uh, go back. Oh, back. Uh, electrical delay, if we go zero nanoseconds, you'll see that the Smith chart is now rotated. It's 33 plus minus 34, so that is not usable. We cannot match this uh, because we're measuring here and trying to match up here. So we'll turn on our delay again, 27 nanoseconds. And we are back to what we should expect. The first step, move this point down onto this ring. And the way to do that, um, I've just got a random capacitor here. Well, it's actually not random. It's 150 puff. Uh, the designer says use 160, but 150 is the closest I've got. If we just uh, hold that little value there, what are we on? So see how we are nearly, nearly on that ring? That's pretty much where I want to be. I'm going to go see if I can find some other J. See where, how we're like 50 minus J something? That's the idea. So um, I'm going to go search for my capacitor box. Maybe I can get a little bit close to that ring. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, I have an update. Um, so this is actually 220 puff. I uh, ended up going a size up. And um, yeah, so I'll, I'll chuck this across the output. And you will see that I end up with, you can see, that's pretty close. So around 50 ohms minus J something. So now I'll solder this in here because I know this value is correct. And now we'll work on the inductor. Uh, so what the inductor will do is it'll follow... Uh, series elements follow these lines. So parallel elements follow lines coming from the other way that we can't see. Just kind of like the nano VNA was flipped upside down. I'll, I'll mark it on the screen anyway. So you can see once we hit this line, we can go up with an inductor straight into the one-to-one -one, uh, match. So we'll do that now. I'll uh, build up an inductor and, uh, well, I'll solder this in. I'll build up an inductor and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've wound a 18-turn T50-6 toroid, which is supposed to have 1.3 microhenries of inductance. And my experience says that's probably way too many turns. I'm going to just plug this into the nano VNA. So I'll just use port one here and uh, shove this into the middle of the, the SMA port and then just touch it onto the ground. 
Oh, actually, uh, it's not so bad. 1.5. So what I'll do is I'll take a winding or two out. I do trust the Nano VNA. Um, it's probably better to go from port 1 to port 2, but I don't think I can reach. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just use, um, yeah, Unterminator, just short it out. So I do trust this method. Uh, method. I've done it many, many times before. And uh, as you can see, 1.5. It's not too bad, but I think that overshoots the mark. So we'll take a turn or two out, and we'll uh, try and get it down to 1.3 microhenry. And not too bad, I took two turns out and I ended up at 1.3. So we're going to just chuck this straight on the board, like in there. And um, yeah, we'll see what we end up with on the antenna now. And of course I have to sweep it as well. Um, so I've got the input coming in, going through the relay, going through the 40 megahertz filter, which probably now is getting completely dominated by my little L match on the end. Because uh, that also performs a low pass filter. And as you can see... That is exactly what's happened. So this is what we've ended up with. The uh, capacitor has moved it up and then the inductors moved it around. So this has messed up the match for a 50 ohm load, but that's kind of what we wanted because we're trying to match the antenna. I will attach this to the antenna now and hopefully this should be a perfect match on 40. It's nice when a plan comes together, doesn't it? SWR 1.01, um, perfect. Perfect match on 40 meters. So there we go. Um, should be able to use this on air now. All right, 73 is all, VK4, Delta Lima.